Diverse and coexisting organisms bring an ecosystem to life. We love to see different creatures living in harmony. But what happens when we introduce invasive species? No! They have the power to cause irreversible damage to the environment. And it doesn't help that many of them will make your skin crawl. Here's a list of the top invasive species you should know about. Starting our list at number six is the Asian longhorn beetle. These beetles are native to China and Korea. They originally traveled to North America in untreated wooden shipping pallets during the 1990s. Asian longhorn beetles can infect any tree that sheds its leaves, and insecticides do not provide any protection. Look for the shallow pits or depressions female beetles chew in the bark where they lay eggs and large holes made by emerging adults. The infected tree must be cut down and then burned. If left unchecked, these beetle infestations can significantly reduce the supply of wood. Early detection is key to stopping these beetles. Squirming in at number five is the hammerhead worm. The hammerhead worm is native to Southeast Asia, especially in Vietnam. First found in the United States in 1901, they're believed to have been brought in on plants. Unfortunately, hammerhead worms prey on earthworms and could exterminate them. Earthworms are vital to the environment because they aerate and fertilize the soil, making it healthy for plants. To get rid of hammerhead worms, people spray them with citrus oil and vinegar, or just vinegar. Place them in a plastic bag with salt or vinegar to ensure they do not crawl away after treating them. Don't touch them with your bare hands as they secrete chemicals that can irritate your skin. Crawling into the number four spot is the Joro spider. Joro spiders evolved in Japan, China, Taiwan, and Korea. They were first found in the United States in 2014 in Georgia. Now, they have spread to Tennessee, North Carolina, and South Carolina. Thankfully, these spiders aren't harmful to humans, environments, or ecosystems, Oof. despite being an invasive species. They can even be helpful. Joro spiders eat the marmorated stink bug, another invasive species that native spiders don't eat. Stink bugs can destroy entire crops of corn, tomatoes, and more. Joro spiders will continue to spread, so we should get used to them. Creating a buzz at number three are giant hornets. Those are two words I don't like together. Also known as murder hornets, the giant hornet is native to China, Korea, Japan, and India. They were first identified on the West Coast in Canada and the US in 2019. The name murder hornet refers to the threat they pose to other insects, especially honeybees. A group of 20 to 40 giant hornets can kill up to 30,000 bees in a few hours. Honeybees in North America are crucial to food production and healthy ecosystems due to their role as pollinators. Preventing the spread of giant hornets is the number one control method. Humans destroy their nests, trap the hornets, and kill them. Hopping into second place are the jumping worms. They came from the grasslands of East Central Asia and arrived in North America in the late 1800s. Jumping worms will outcompete other earthworms. They alter the soil and lower its quality, leaving it inhospitable to many native plant species and making the land prone to erosion. Jumping worms also eat the top layer of organic material. This makes it difficult for plants to stay rooted and allows rain to wash away the nutrients. The most humane method of ending a jumping worm's life is using isopropyl alcohol, which will kill it within seconds. Grabbing the top spot is the brown tree snake. Native to Australia, Indonesia, and Papua New Guinea, the brown tree snake was first identified on the island of Guam in 1953. Now, there are about two million brown tree snakes on the island. These snakes have contributed to the declining populations of lizards, bats, and many bird species. And that reduced the number of plant species as they relied on birds for pollination and to spread their seeds. Birds also kept the spider population in check. Now, it has exploded. The main culprit is the banana spider. 
In the dry season, Guam has about 2.5 times more spider webs than other islands. In the wet season, Guam has 40 times more spider webs. The authorities are still trying to suppress and control brown tree snakes, the hungry bird eaters that they are. If you'd like to learn more, we've got a full episode on the Joro spider that you'll want to check out. You may meet one soon. Disrupting environments and taking over ecosystems are what these invasive species do, and that's what makes them crazy creatures.